new into stock uh, Ford Fiesta 1.5 TDCI ZTEC. It's a five door, 1500 cc, 2014 on a 14 plate, zero road tax, very, very economical, great spec uh, specification as well. 54,201 miles. Fuel economy, urban 64.2, extra urban 85.6, and combined is 76.3. So, as I say, very, very economical. 0-60 time of 13.5 seconds, top speed of 104 miles per hour out of a 74 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Um, I'll just show you around it. As I say, really nice spec, chrome grill, finished in Panther Black Metallic. They used to call it, not sure what they call it now. The double spoke alloys, chrome trim around the windows. Electric boot release, rear wash wipe integrated tailgate spoiler quite a quite a fair bit of room for a little car in the back rear seats fold down as well split 60 40 rear load cover and uh, the matching chrome trim here along the back of the tailgate seats are nice and comfy well padded um, like absolutely brand new a kind of a grey cloth with contrast stitching and then a, a stripey sort of pattern in the centre panels. Um, the only two rear headrests in the back, but there's three inertia reel belts. Um, really meant for, for children, I would say, or certainly small adults. If I uh, had my seat all the way back, um, there's no way I could go for any distance uh, in, in the back, but I don't think you're going to be buying it for uh, for large people to ride around in I don't think anybody's ever sat in the back of here it's absolutely mint uh, there's no marks anywhere the, the seating's lovely great design um, anthracite cloth and uh, contrast stitching and also this kind of uh, zebra pattern in the in the middle uh, really really nice in the back plenty of headroom um, take some doing getting the, the headrests up normally you can just bang them up you, you couldn't get these up with dynamite so uh, I'm not sure there you go you have to give them a good clout again they, they've, they've never been used um, it's it's a great little car isofix uh, anchor points at the bottom of the seats there and uh, lo lovely vehicle just take you for riding it two remote keys for it with proper blades and things that plug into the ignition lock Here we go. Service history. 16th to 7th, 2014 at 12,544 miles. Evans Holshaw Cardiff. 2nd to the 10th, 2014 at 24,800 miles. Trust Ford, Bristol. 16th to the 10th, 2015 at 33,874 miles. Lawtons of Tadcaster. 14th to the 10th, 2016 at 39,997 miles. Lawtons of Tancaster, and 9th of the 4th, 2018, uh, at 49,678 miles, PR Motors, Harrogate. So, uh, good service history. It's, uh, what did I say it's done? Um, 54,222 miles. Really nice condition all round. Just turn that fan down. And actually, the air con off. Um, before we go, let's just see. Height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel. Proper handbrake, which is uh, good to see. Let's just wind that back a bit. There we go. As I said before, very, very economical. Up to 80 something miles to the gallon, which uh, is incredible. And uh, great little diesel engine. Of course, diesels last longer than petrol too. 
and uh, for those people worried about things like DPF filters clogging up these days um, there is a firm called Forte that uh, make a solution to put in your, your fuel which keeps the uh, DPF filter clean so uh, I mean to be honest if buying a personal car being in the motor trade I would always choose diesel over petrol if I was going to keep it a long time if I wanted less to go wrong with it um, get more fuel economy and the engines and the emissions now are uh, cleaner than ever I could understand in the old days if there was a big fuss with all the black diesel fumes coming out the back but nowadays there's just not Great little car, five speed gearbox, Ford gearbox as well, so that uh, don't come much better. Just uh, take you for a quick drive up the motorway. So, what have we got? We've got hands free Bluetooth, it's also got Bluetooth audio streaming, it's great sound in here. Uh, tremendous, tremendous speakers in here. Car's pretty quiet. Electric door mirrors, just test them. Yep, they were, that one's working. That one's working too. You should really get in the right lane if you're going to do that. It's amazing how many people think because they put their indicators on it makes the car at the side of them disappear and they can just pull out. Your aircon controls here. It's uh, the heated front screen as well which is a fantastic accessory on, on any car especially in weather like this come out in the morning and all your screens frozen up click the button while everybody else is scraping away and it, and it just disappears sports seats built up at the side here we've got a 12 volt power socket there and auxiliary uh, but as I say you can stream your music from your phone via Bluetooth through the system. Nice easy system to set up as well. day today we've got to go up to Hesham in a short while somebody from the Isle of Man's bought a vehicle off us paid for it without seeing it and we're shipping it across to the, uh, the Isle of Man but, uh, alloy wheels folding rear seats the rear load cover tinted glass box just slightly sprung just a bit of pressure to the left and into first it's going to third you just knock it forward springs across right into the center so all you have to do is push it forward pull back for fourth and a, a bit of pressure over to fifth love Ford gearboxes
got a little information display in the center there. Let's try and see what it says. The outside air temperature, 12 degrees, which is good. Average miles per gallon, it's showing 50.3. That This car has been clean. Lance has given it the treatment. It's like absolutely brand new. But that does mean usually that um, he has it ticking over outside while he's cleaning it. And then I photograph it and I have it ticking over for a, an hour or so um, while I'm photographing it. So that brings the fuel economy down quite considerably. But even, I mean, I'd be happy with 50 miles to the gallon, to be fair, and, and that's what it's showing now. Also gives you a little arrow to tell you when to change gear. Let's see what else it's got. Yeah, it's showing average miles per hour of 18 miles per hour, so that uh, just shows you how long it's been ticking over for and not driving. It's actually running away with me as well. I'll just get back down to, sorry, I'll, I'll just stay at 70. Now this car in front slowed down. So, 70 miles an hour there, about 2,300 revs in fifth. Uh, they're really good to drive, very, very sporty feel to them. Two cup holders here. Side now I'm right up here. So finished in black metallic. We've also got these gloss black or piano black insets to the dash, the uh, gear tunnel, and the door cards, brushed aluminium handles and an inset to the steering wheel. Nice and contrasted, looks really, really nice. display here on the left, rev counter, fuel gauge at the bottom, on the right your speedo, convertible there Test of the steering round here.
uh, car shouldn't be with us too long. I know we've got it uh, certainly priced right. I don't think you'd find anything cleaner out there. Best colour combination, in my opinion. I think there's uh, too many white cars on the road these days. At one time, you couldn't sell a white car, and now it's all the rage. But uh, you could always sell black cars. show you how to pair your uh, mobile to the Bluetooth system in the in this little Ford in a short while and also how to stream audio and uh, how to delete a phone then you're all set mile an hour on these country lanes it's um, a joy to drive Self convertible. So we're just going uphill here and there's a car right behind me so that's cocking me up but in fifth this car will just basically tick over and do about 30 miles an hour try and get on a flat bit of road I suppose it a bit further back but just the, the torque of the diesel engine just just pulls you along there it's we're ticking over now it's in gear without uh, slipping the clutch or uh, just go right it's flat surface here try and get in fifth as soon as I can second into fifth okay now I haven't got my foot on the clutch or the accelerator it's ticking over it's doing about 900 revs in fifth gear and we're pulling away we're pretty soon I'm gonna to have to put my foot on the brake so a tick over in fifth you're doing more than 30 miles an hour This, uh, I don't know if it's the same chap, but when I was going home last night, there was a, the farmer that turns off at the pub up the road there had a wagon full of slurry. And it was so full, it was slapping over the sides 
going from side to side and slapping all over, all over the road here. And now he's got it where all those stones could just pile out the back. Okay, I'll finish the test drive here and go and get me Starbucks. <laughs>